Hey Kipsters, welcome to Logical Mathematics with Mr. Almeida. Today we're going to talk about a really, really important and foundational concept in mathematics. And that is called exponential form. The use of exponents in mathematics is going to prepare you to really understand algebra when you get to an upper grade level in mathematics. When you're dealing with numbers that are raised and actual variables that stand for numbers. But exponential form looks like this. It has a base and it has an exponent. Now the base is what we call the factor. So it's the number that we will multiply by. And the exponent basically gives directions to the base. It tells the base how many times to be written as a factor. Well, the exponent tells you how many times to write the base as a factor, and a factor is a number used in multiplication. Now, in mathematics, we have a lot of abbreviations. In the English language, we have abbreviations. If I gave you this abbreviation right here, MR, period, what would that stand for? Well, it'd be a shorter way of writing out Mr. If I give you MS, period, this would be a shorter way of writing out MISS. And so, in mathematics, we have abbreviations as well. We have 3 to the 4th power, and in mathematics, the exponent will be the power itself. So, if I say exponent is 4, that means to the 4th power. If I say the exponent is 2, that means to the 2nd power. All right? But there's a special thing that we talk about whenever we're putting anything to the second power. We call it squared. And there's also another special term that we call whenever we put a number to the third power. We call it cubed. Okay? So, in mathematics, I told you there were shorter ways of writing numbers, abbreviated ways, and then there were longer, expanded ways of writing that out. Well, we're going to show you how to write 3 to the 4th power as repeated multiplication because that's what exponents state. Well, the exponent tells you to write the base, which is 3, as a factor how many times? 4. So 3 to the 4th power as repeated multiplication equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. You're writing the base, which is 3, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4 times as a factor. Now, the most common error is to think that 3 to the 4th power equals 12. They're not bases. It's not 3 times 4. It's writing 3 as a factor, as a base, 4 different times. So, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So, the final product of 3 to the 4th power equals 81 and not 12. All right, let's see if you can do this next one. Two to the third power. Three tells you to write two as a factor. How many times? Three. Two times two times two. Two times two times two is the long expanded way of writing out two to the third power. If you want to go backwards, look at what factor you're using. What factor are you using? Two. That's going to be the base. That's the base right there. How many times are you using that as a factor? One, two, three times. Therefore, the exponent is three. The exponent gives you direction. The base is the factor that you use to multiply. So, a little visual for you to see is in exponential notation, this is exponential notation. Just like that right there. Okay? So, this is the base, and that's used as a factor, and this is the exponent. And I use a high-pitched voice because that's where the exponent's located. Exponent. It tells you how many times to use the base as a factor. Hope you enjoy.